the table? <coughs> what does it say? Is it called Jaws Child's Mom? Oh, I don't know. I didn't get the notification. Oh. It says hang tight with telling friends. Why was it raining all day? It's still got Hey, guys. Why are you on my live? I have a story to tell. Why are you on my live? Get out of here. Where's my mom? She's not on yet. Hi, I'm Mel. <laughs> here she go. Hi, Ma. I wish you get out of here. All right, so I got a story to tell. I'm just waiting for more people to get in so I can tell the story. Because I got a story to tell. I see you. I'm good. How are you? What happened? I love it. I love that one. Hi. Hey, Chuck. I'm just trying to wait for more people to come on because I got a story to tell. <laughs> Shut up. Y'all get on my nerves. I'm blessed. God is good. Yes, I see you doing very good. I'm so happy for you. I'm about to leave. Hey, child. I swear, y'all better not. Wait, you want us to stay? Yes. Yes. Hold on, nah. But we know the story. Yes. So what? We gotta stay now. Why do we have to be listening? Shut up. Hi, no limit. All right. <laughs> DJ You're welcome Stasha. You're welcome Hey Stasha you back So, so huh? huh Can we start yet Yeah we can start because I mean at this point Not a lot of people is coming in But <laughs> Chuck you know Somebody did something to me <laughs> Stasha that's her she needs to get off of Instagram though. I don't know. Here she go. I miss you too. I can't. I'm so over it. I don't have no earrings on either. I look. I look a mess, y'all. But Chuck, you see mommy? Why is she on? First of all, why is she on Instagram? Like she was the first person on the live that I didn't like that. But anyway, I got a story to tell y'all. Um, no, Nastasha, y'all going to <laughs> wait. Y'all, y'all can wait. You can get with this, and you can get with that. <laughs> oh God, y'all better leave my daddy alone. Anyway, I got a story to tell, and a lot of you that's already on here, which is not really many of y'all, but I'm pretty sure y'all already know the story. But um, because I'm writing a book, and that book is going to consist of many different things that's happened over the last <laughs> what happened <laughs> what happened <laughs> that book I don't know why they laughing at me <laughs> why did she finish the <laughs> oh they laughing at Stash Stash your nephew is dying he is dying but anyway, a lot of people already know the story. Um, and I just want to say rest in peace to my beautiful queen, my best friend, my everything, my Mimi. Um, I have a book that I am writing. And um, it's just going to be so, it's going to include so many details of 
what we experienced as a family these last um, two years, these last, yeah, two years, pretty much. Um, and it's definitely going to include, she said we don't know the song. Um, we know the song, Y'all Just Corny. Um, but it's definitely going to include, should I say that it's going to include that? It's really going to be about, hi, Javon. It's really going to be about um, the, the, I'm trying to look for the right word. The, the, all the neglect, all the, all the neglect that, Mumu said, look at Hi, Mumu. All the neglect that my grandmother received. Um, you know, all the non-support that we did not receive from family members, but family members always have a say, you know, it's real funny how, um, and I'm patiently waiting for one of them to come on this live, but you know, it's real funny how someone can have so much say, so much say in the, 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 the level of care you give, you give to someone else. So someone, you know, a lot of people have so much, um, a lot of say in, how you, how you, what's the word? Um, how you are a caretaker, you know, uh, you know, pe people have so much say the ones that's not involved at all. The ones that's done nothing at all, nothing at all. The ones that's giving nothing. And this, you know, this I, throughout this whole experience, just even including my life, like my grandmother has taught me, my grandmother has taught me how to be this amazing woman, how to give my all, how to give my heart to some to someone how to do for people and you know what hey brother and you know what i realized oh, i stay getting shitted on every single time right and i and i look back and i see this, this beautiful woman that did everything for everybody it doesn't matter who you are a stranger on the street um family you know i i i, I i'm just even talking about the family members at this point because my grandmother took everybody in. My Mimi took everybody in. When I say everybody in, everybody lived at her home at one point or another. To, to, for her to get to the point where she couldn't even get a fucking phone call. Excuse me. She couldn't even get a phone call to see how she was doing. She couldn't even get a birthday card. But you have everybody and their mother speaking on the level of care she was receiving let me explain something you know this is why this this is why this book is coming this book is going to be so powerful it's going to be so real it's going to be raw and i'm not going to hold back shit nothing i'm hearing i'm hearing so many so much negative things about me about my mother i'm hearing so you know it, it's crazy that my mother has her own mother right my Mimi was my mother's mother-in-law, but my mother gave up her life to make sure she took care of her mother-in-law. I'm confused, but you're quick to tell somebody that's not her daughter. That is her fucking daughter. That was her daughter. That is her daughter. If you ask my Mimi who her daughter is, what did she say? Lisa, my Lisa. Okay. So I, 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 I am... This book is gonna be so powerful, so real, and so raw. Like I'm, like I'm explaining, and I'm just wanted to come in, um, you know, just vent a little bit because you know it, it's really tiring, and to, to 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 keep hearing the stories and to hear the negativity, for someone to even come out their face to even say that that me and my mother, the reason why my grandmother received wounds, bed sores, like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Well, we are the ones that fought day in and day out. I slept in hospitals day in and day out. I didn't get no sleep. My son is 11 years old. He didn't get no sleep. This is the, you know, these are things that we fought and fought and fought and fought and fought for. And guess what? To hear the negativity for, from, from, from people that didn't do sh nothing for this woman is crazy. The fact in the world, the, the fact that in the world that we live in, because you are a child of someone, 
that you have more authority. It's really crazy because you have more authority because you're someone's child because you birthed them. I mean, because the person birthed you. The, the laws in this, and that's what I'm going to be fighting for. The laws and the change and, and, and the elderly. Because guess what? I don't give a damn if someone birthed someone else. That does not make them a child. Just like it doesn't make them a parent. Because in this situation, this man that's supposed to be her child did nothing for her. But, be, but because it was her child that she birthed. Somehow the courts looked at that as though that that, that that meant something and that he should have this power, this authority. But he did nothing for his mother. Noth when I say nothing, nothing at all. Okay? And the fact that, the fact that, and I'm not going to be emotional. I'm, I, I'm not. But, you know, but the fact that the 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 court the courts allowed him to have control and with that control he quickly and instantly put his mother in a nursing home where she was neglected the first nursing home she was abused that's a fact that's a proven given fact that was the first nursing home so why would you want to then take your mother out of the nursing home to put her in another one it didn't work. We brought her home. But the moral of the story is you then put her in another nursing home once you got that authority. This is not somebody that wanted to care and take care of their parent at all. This is somebody that wanted just to have control. Because if you knew your, you knew your mother, you knew the, your loved one, you would know she would never want to be in a nursing home for one. That has always, always been her her um concern that has always been she has always mentioned that she did not want to be in her home or facility she wanted to be taken care of in her home and that's what we were doing this man came to the home this man this man that the town looks at as like this 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 not hero but this um they look up to him in this town i i, I don't understand why right you know why because of his mother because the status that his mother held, because the status that my grandmother held, they look up to him or they give him, you know, authority and power because of this woman, because of the authority and the power and the person that she was, right? So to then, like I said, to give him this authority, he took, he, he showed up to the home with police and paramedics to remove her from the home he then lied to them and told them that she, he believes she has wounds and we're not treating them mind you she received these wounds from a hospital okay horrible wounds that she received from a healthcare facility they sent her home with these horrible wounds that he definitely knew about and the, it just so happened that the wound care nurse had just left the home and was able to speak to paramedics and the police to tell them that's a lie. She gets wound care. She gets wound care every other day. So you was willing to lie to the paramedics and the police just to take this woman out of her home to put her in a fucking nursing home where they, uh, where they neglected her. But, but you're a child. But you, you're her child and you love her so much. I have, I have, my mother have a log of every visit that he gave her. A log with the time you arrived, the time you left. I'm confused. But you love your mother. Some days it was five minutes, some days it was ten minutes. Some days you run in and say, oh, I got to get to the job. I'm confused. I, I, I stopped working. I stopped working to take care of my grandmother. I, I'm confused. Never would it be Bruce. Never would it be Bruce. I'm definitely not talking about Bruce. Um, I'm definitely not talking about my father. He he definitely, if he could, would take care of his mother. Unfortunately, he's incapacitated. Um, But, you know, so 
these, these are the things that I, I'm just so confused about and how the world that we live in, how they gave this man this authority, he put her in a nursing home. His mother didn't last two months in a nursing home. I took care of her for a year and a half. A year and a half, she was home safe. Okay? She went to the nursing home, didn't last two months. We went to court. Guess what they told me in court? Oh, and, and, and they were nasty. They were nasty in court. Oh, she's better off in a nursing home. Oh, she is? She died six days later. I told these people that my grandmother is going to either choke to death and nobody's going to know. Or she's going to stop breathing and nobody's going to know. So what happened? She choked to death on what? Her own fluids. Six days after the court date when they told me she was better off at a nursing home than at home with me. That's funny. That's crazy. The one that checks her, her pulse, her heart rate, her oxygen all day long, me. They don't do that in there. She's a number at a nursing home. She's just a number. They go in there when it's their time to take care of her. I, I'm, I'm just, yes, uh-huh, yep, that one, that one, so, you know, so, you know, but then, like I said, but then I'm, I'm hearing all these stories, oh, you stole all her money, hmm, I stole all her money, that's funny, if I was still all her money, I would have stole all her money and left, I wouldn't have took care of shit, I would have took her money and left, no, I did what my grandmother told me to do, do what you have to do, because you can't work. How can I work and I have to take care of my grandmother? My grandmother was very much of sound mind. You understand? Very much of sound mind. So, but he's going around telling everybody, oh, we took this, we took that. I took this, I took that. Why? Because you didn't have it? Because he didn't have it. That's why. Because he didn't have access to it. I stole it and I didn't take care of her. I stole it. And I neglected her. That's funny. That's funny. One night, my grandmother went to the hospital three times in one night. Three times she was choking to death in my arms. One time she was choking to death in my son's arms. Th two times she was choking to death in my arms. I went to the hospital three times in one night explaining to them. I listened. Something's wrong. She's choking on her own fluids. Something's wrong. They, kept, they sent me home each time. Each time. I would call her son to tell him. What, he, what, 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 what Did he ever show up at the hospital? Never. Three times in one day. He never showed up. Sleeping in his fucking bed with his dumbass wife telling me what to tell the doctors. But you never showed up. But you care about your mother? And I'm sitting here telling you she's choking. She's choking. She can't breathe. She's choking. And you never showed up? That's funny to me. It's funny. But this is, this is who the courts gave authority to go and then put her in a nursing home. To, to then go and make her DNR, do not resuscitate, when she signed her own resuscitation order. You understand? So, the story that I have to tell, because of course it's more than this. Of course I'm not going to, I have so much to tell. Unfortunately, I can't tell it all on this live. But the book I'm writing is so real. It's going to be so real and so powerful. And... I just want support. I just want support from people, um, from my book, honestly. Um, this is a fight. This is a fight that I have to have. This is a fight that I will be in court for. This is a fight. I will f could forever fight for justice for my grandmother. I do believe that my grandmother was... I do believe they killed my grandmother. How I say that and what I mean is that nobody physically went in there and harmed her to kill her. But they killed her. You, They decided to take her from her home where she was safe to put her in a nursing home where she was neglected. By her son that already was neglecting her because he, wasn't no, he did nothing for her. And the courts allowed this. You know why the courts allowed this? Because it's about money. It's about money. It's always about money. They didn't care for the person. In my book, I'm going to have the emails, the emails from the lawyer that the court appointed for my grandmother, how this lawyer said that she would never be in a nursing home. She would be at home, how she would never die alone in a nursing home, how she would die at home and how then quickly when it was about money, he changed his story and he allowed them to put my grandmother in a nursing home. I have all the emails, everything, timestamp, documented, everything. It will all be in my book. 
Okay? My grandmother deserves justice. This is a woman that was heavily, 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 heavily um, looked up to in her community. And they killed her. So, they did nothing for her. This same community, the same people, they did nothing for her. You know, even these sorority sisters, and I don't give a shit. I'm not in a sorority, so I don't give a fuck if anybody come for me. They're all bullshitters. They're all shit artists. My grandmother loved this sorority with everything in her. They did nothing for her. Nothing. They did nothing for her. They didn't show up. They, they, didn't, they didn't call. They didn't make sure she was okay. But they, they, they signed whatever they signed to make sure that this man put her in a nursing home. But this same, in the same sorority on her deathbed made sure that she paid her fucking dues for the sorority. You think I give a fuck about these people? I don't. And I can't wait to tell the story. I can't wait till it's all written down in the book. And I don't give a shit what AKA come for me. I don't. Because they're all bullshit artists. That's what they are. You understand? My grandmother did everything for them. Everything. She may have not gave 50 years, but she gave over 30. And over 30, in over 30 years, when she died, they should have granted her that golden. Um, they should have granted her golden. Okay? She put too much time, too much effort, too much money. They should have granted that. They didn't even do that. I seen them grant them somebody golden that was, <laughs> was gave way less time. You understand? But on her deathbed, they made sure she paid them dues. You understand that? They did nothing for her. So, I cannot wait to tell this story. I cannot wait. I'm just praying that I have a lot of support for this book. Because this book is going to be so real. Um, real and raw. It's going to tell all the truth. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. This family. This bullshit ass family that my grandmother had. That did nothing for her. They didn't even call her to check and see if she was okay or not. You understand? I can't wait to tell it all. I just can't wait. Can't wait. The negativity that I keep hearing about my mother is what has what, what is what has me so aggravated right now. You understand that? This is not her daughter. It's not her daughter. It's not her daughter. That's fucking crazy. It is her daughter. Because that's the woman that gave up her life to take care of her, her, her mother-in-law that she's been with for over 40 years. That is her daughter. I have videos on here on this Instagram that I say, say hi to your daughter. I didn't say my mother's name. She said, hey, Lisa. She know who the fuck her daughter is. Y'all mad. You're mad because my my mother been in my grandma's life for over 40 years. You're mad. That's her mother. That's her daughter. That's who took care of her. You understand that? In her time of need, when she needed, the, it, needed it the most, that's who took care of her. Her daughter-in-law. You understand that? Girl, Roz, you, it's coming, honey. It's in the works. That's why I came on here. I said I was going to go live. I was supposed to go live on my grandmother's page, but I'm here. I'm just going to tag it on her page. And um, it's a fight. It is a fight. And I'm, and, 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 and I'm, like I said, I'm forever going to fight for my grandmother's justice. Forever. Until she gets it. Right? Um, no matter how many court appearances I have to make, no matter how many protests it's going to be, no matter how many letters I got to write, that judge I want to be in trouble, that lawyer, that court appointed lawyer, the, the judge that gave this man authority to put his mother in a nursing home, I want everybody in trouble. And I'm not going to stop until it happens. I'm not. I'm not going to stop until it happens. My grandmother deserves justice. It's no reason why she had to go the way she did alone in a fucking nursing home where nobody gives a fuck about her. There's no reason why she had to die alone. There's no reason why she had to choke to death alone. You understand that? Why? It's no reason. Okay? So, the story will be told. The book is coming. And I'm pouring my heart out in it why because all right hold on bro why because i don't know i pressed it mimi did it for all of us she did she did i pressed it it's not working i don't know she did it for all of us exactly hi bro what's good 
Say, hey, what you doing? Chilling. I want to say recipes to the OG. You already know. Oh, Just thank you. Fighting. We used to here to support you. You know what I mean? So. Yep. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. I want to so to your mommy. Yeah. What is she in the background saying? Rest in peace to your mommy. We put let's put her purple hey. hearts in here, both of them. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Hey. I want yep. a photograph copy of the book I was saying. What book? Oh. Uh, girl, you know you're gonna get that. I'm just throwing <laughs> my heart out in it because you know what they say in therapy, like you write, like write a letter to them. So I figured <laughs> My letters that I'm writing to her would be, you know, my truth. Oh, uh, you know, everything, you know? And publish it, make it a book because I have a lot to tell. I have a lot to talk about and she deserves it. Relate, though. It's a huh? Yeah, I know. I know. I know. People go through this every day. And and while I feel is that the court the court system, they don't care about us. They really don't. They don't care about our family. They don't. Nah, that's their shit. And you could help somebody else. That's their shit. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you, guys, for the purple hearts. Everybody put purple hearts in here. Um, but yeah, it's but anyway, I love y'all. Yeah, I was just coming love over here to say, you know, we here to support you. Thank you. I love y'all. I'm about to get off. I just had to vent because it's better than crying. So. <laughs> You gotta cry sometimes. So, so you could get with this? <laughs> oh my god, get out of here with that. Or you could get with that. But this is with that. <laughs> hey, why is why does mommy have a lot why does she have an Instagram? What's telling me to her? Wait, that's not right there. She she, she on no, it's a two cousins chatting. Why is she on here? Yo, that's her name. Who put yes. her? Who she gave her that? Go. Who put her up to that? She gotta go. She gotta go. Yo, Tasha, she in the way? Yes, she I'm, in the way. I'm, I'm still. <laughs> she better copyright that. I'm still in that. Yo, soon as I as soon as I came on, I saw her name pop up. Like, why? Why are you on here? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I see y'all later. See you later. All right, love you later. Love you. <laughs> love you. Yes, yeah, sis. Crying does. Um. Oh, happy birthday, Rose! Happy birthday! Yeah, crying does cleanse. I cry every day. Honestly, I break down every day. It's not. It, it hasn't been a day that went past since October twenty fifth that I haven't broke down and cried. Um, because it's always something. It's always something that reminds me of her. It's always. It's just always something, and I and I'm trying. I'm trying my hardest, but what's the what's the the biggest thing is that you know you hear the negativity, or the biggest thing is that the fight, the fight that we're still fighting for her. I, I can't explain it, but there's still a fight, and it, it's it's baffling to me why there is still a fight. You know, and why am I fighting with someone that did nothing for her? I don't give a shit if it's her biological child or not. You understand? I'm saying it's my grandmother because by law, because it's my father's mother, it's my grandmother. But that was my mother. That was still my mother. You understand? That's that's still my mom. That no matter what, I was her daughter. You understand? I was a daughter that she never had. She's always said that. My mother was her daughter. You understand? And I'm gonna yes, I'm gonna forever fight for her. I'm gonna forever fight until she gets the justice that she deserves. Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I gotta do, um, because it, it it's only right. And I just wanted to come on and talk about it a little bit. I wanted to um, just say that you know I am writing a book, and I just need support from as many fam family real family and friends um that I can get um because it's gonna be real, it's gonna be raw and I do believe that it's gonna be able to help others that's in the same situation. I know I'm not the I know we're not the only family that's dealing with court systems that that, that didn't give 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 a shit about the family or I'm sorry, they didn't give a shit about the person, but about the money, you know. 
um, corrupt, crooked lawyers, um, corrupt, crooked judges. It's all about money. It's all about money, and it's always all about money, you know? So that's what it is. Um, I know I've been rambling and rambling and rambling. Hi, Q. Hi, Q. I'm mad at you. So anyway, um, so, yeah, I'm just. I look a mess too. I'm tired. I'm emotional. I'm fucked up. But I just wanted to come on and just say that. And um, yeah, that's it. I love y'all. Everybody left now. I love y'all. Stay safe. Stay blessed. And, and yeah. What you putting a sad face for? I'm sad. I'm sad. And man at you at the same time but i'll talk to you later but anyway hey busy what you doing um thank you so much guys yeah purple hearts for me me purple hearts for my aunt and that's it um like i said i know i've been rambling i, I got a headache now it's been a lot but i love all of you Stay safe and stay blessed. That's all, folks.